If they are deprived of these four things, they are doomed. But please let me make a mention here. To acknowledge this fact is easy. To accept is practically it's not so easy. Very hard. Very difficult. Why? Because we live in this world of matter. We have been made to live. In this world of matter, we have manifestations of wealth around us, of prosperity, luxury, big mansions, big palaces, very long and new cars, all manifestations of prosperity and status and status symbols. Man is influenced. You find, you know, an impression. You are influenced. There's a very beautiful couplet in Persian. Darmayane kare darya takhta bandam kar dai. Bajmi goi ke daman tarmakun hushyar bash. Oh Allah, you have left me here on a piece of wood in a sea. I'm floating in a sea. And you want from me that I shouldn't allow my clothing to be drenched. How is it possible? Darmayane kare dariya. We are living here. We are influenced. Even the biggest people are influenced. At least temporarily. I don't think no human can remain uninfluenced. As long as he is human. And now this is the reason why the Sahaba narrated to each other Surah Al-Asr. To shed off these influences. Just when it is snowing, what do you do? Remove the snow. Otherwise, maybe you are buried under it. So shedding off that snow is necessary for survival. So these influences which are coming on you every moment. When you see these signs and symptoms of status and prosperity and wealth and well-being and status, everything, these new influences come. They affect you. They affect your thinking. They influence your value structure. And there's a continuous need of shedding them off. Clean yourself. Clean your thinking. Clean your mind of these evil influences. And for that, the Sahaba Ikrab made it a habit. Whenever they met, they recited to each other Surah Al-Asr. إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ